Good morning! Today is a jam-packed day, let me tell you that right now. So, I've just dropped off my little Effie bear with our friends Helen and Matthew and they're gonna watch Effie today because I'm, I'm out all day long and it always makes me so nervous to leave her with someone new because she's so nervous, but I think it's gonna be fine. I left her there with some anchovies <laughs> and her bed, so I think it should be okay. This is boring, but my fiance normally works from home on Wednesdays, so normally he watches her. So I had this like day planned, but he is currently cycling in Ibiza. He said they're gonna do like 80 kilometer cycles every day, which is like an, a distance I can't even comprehend doing on a bicycle. <laughs> so I've got free reign of the flat baby for like almost a week, um, which is lovely, which is absolutely lovely. And I think most people in relationships will understand a little peace and quiet. The flat will be sparkling clean the whole time. No dirty socks around. No, but I, I will miss him, but um, you know, I am a grown up, so it's gonna be okay. Right, so anyway, enough about that. I'm currently heading to a restaurant called Jolene. I'm actually going to Big Joe, which surprisingly I've never been to before. Um, and I'm meeting a journalist to have like a little breakfast. She's a journalist, but actually, turns out that she's my fiance's friend's girlfriend and we've been trying to connect for a while and she's coming to my wedding so I kind of want to meet her first anyway and I have lots to update you on about the wedding but I'm going to do a separate wedding Q&A soon that's coming because there have been a lot of changes like a lot so yeah I'm gonna drive over there I'm gonna be there in about 23 minutes I'll be 10 minutes early which is nice I hate rushing around I've been awake since 6 o'clock in the morning though so to me it feels like lunchtime okay I just had a gorgeous cup of tea and this is Verity Verity who are you and what do you do I am a beauty director I'm at Grazia Magazine at the moment so we've been chatting all things beauty yes Gorgeous, and you're coming to my wedding. <laughs> I am now heading to um, Central because I'm getting my tattoos removed again, which is so painful and I hate it. I dread it so much, but I want these tattoos gone off my body Especially for my wedding, I think this is like the motivation I have to like keep going to these appointments even though it's like so painful. Um, I just don't want these tattoos to be on show for my wedding. And the ones on my arms are actually going away, but I have one on the on my back and it will be visible probably in a dress. So yeah, that's where I'm heading to. Um, I have the numbing cream and it definitely helps, so I'm gonna to try to put that on about 45 minutes before. Um, I'm early for my appointment, so I'm just gonna do it when I get there, and then I'm gonna work from the waiting room. It's gonna be so painful. I forgot to put the numbing cream on. It's going with it. My stress ball. <laughs> Woo! Gosh. Okay, let me cool you down a little. Cool me yeah. down, baby. <laughs> Oh god. I do scream a little. No wonder. I'm busy. Yeah. Okay, let's do one shot and see how you yeah. look like. Oh. Okay, that's the food. So oh. I'm just gonna be a little bit baby. That right? is brutal. Well, 
that hurt. <laughs> woo, woo hoo. I did not have time to put the numbing cream on, so I just went in. I just raw dogged it. <laughs> it is honestly so painful. I know some people like don't think it's that bad. I don't know how because it's like, it's worse than lighting a match and putting it on your skin. Like it goes deeper to the deepest depths. It's so intense, but anyways, I'm glad it's over. The thing is, is it's, it's over, but it's not over because what happens now is in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow or the next day, it's gonna get incredibly itchy. Like itchy to the point that you, you can't believe it. You can't even think about anything else. But she gave me a good tip today, which was to take an antihistamine if that happens, which I've never done before. <sighs> People always ask why I'm removing my tattoos. It's just because I don't like them anymore. It's literally as simple as that. Um, I don't identify with them. So, anywho, now it's 11.20 in the morning and I have plenty of time. I'm meeting someone for lunch, so I have some time. I'm gonna go to a cafe and do some work there. And Guys, look who I'm with. Is it oh, Yes! What, what's this name Red Bottom? Oh, oh. <laughs> this is a um, This is Steph, and we're talking all about her app. And um, she's showing me because this is what I need for my wedding Yeah, prep. so we're just going through all the different guys. Yes. Um, what's it called, this app? We Glow. We Glow. Yeah, so we basically try, we have like we, the um, guys that are like 24 weeks. Yes. Um, and then ones that are like eight weeks, six weeks, challenges. Okay. We try and promote sustainability rather than like quick fix. Yeah. Like how many times have you gone like this week? I'm going to go like five times a week. Yeah. And then never, never done, again. But you've never done that in your life. Yeah. That's so like, why are you setting yourself up for something? No, I need just... like something twice a week. Yeah. Realistically. Yeah. So, Maybe three times out of push. Yes. Yeah, so you can also just like design your own guy. So if you just want to do like ah. two days a week. With, oh my like, gosh. Then, 20 minute Pilates, oh, something like that. Heaven. I feel like I'm on um, well, a talk show. I need this because when I go to the gym, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh. It's awkward. We, we got it. Okay. Back in the hair salon where I belong. It's been about eight weeks since my last hair appointment. Usually I go every six weeks. And I always have the urge to scrunch these, but Harriet says I'm not allowed and that is like very risky business. Um, but yes, it's buzzing in here today. And I'm just sitting here about to do some emails while I get my hair done. Oh my gosh, so look, I just saw this cowboy boot. I was like, oh my God, I love this. And in the back of my head, I thought, this looks like my friend Christine's brand that holds matches and it is hers, which is so nice to see it in person. Ooh, I just got to big. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Aren't they cute? I'm just organized. Cute little, little guy. I love coming in here. This is big in Hackney in Victoria Park Village. So if you know this roundabout, this is where we are. And there are so many of all my favorite brands in here. I'm obsessed with Rome. This serum is such a game changer. Of course, we've got Earl of East, J'adore, Votary, Larry King. Love, Nuco, of course. And this is my little friend for the day. What are we doing today? We're gonna do a facial. We're doing a full ultimate sculpt glow. Yeah. Bit LED. We've got a debuckle. Yep. So I'm gonna go behind that. Tree. Thank God. Release that tension. Okay, you're nice and relaxed. Okay, I'm excited. This feels so good. <laughs> and normally, any other facial, I'd be half asleep by now. But we just always talk, 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 talk. Therapy session. It's like literally therapy and a facial in one. But you, I have to say, your like massage is like next level. Thank it's you. It's so good. I can't wait till you get your fingers in my mouth. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. <laughs> Who thought you'd say that? that? <laughs> I've said it before. <laughs> Let's go. Open your mouth and close. Hmm. <laughs> Best angles. I know. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. We just finished, and I was just saying, it's like a religious experience. <laughs> that is, when you, can I pan the camera? Yes. When you do the mist, 
Mm. And you like mist from up here and it all comes down. Oh my gosh. Okay, where can people find you online? The Moments. Um, you can book at The Moments Studio London, but yeah, come see me. Come and release. Yes. Yeah. But mostly I'm at my home studio in Stoke Newington. Yes, and I've been there and mm. it's, oh my god, it's so good. Ah, I, I forgot how good you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm still good. Otherwise I'd be really disappointed. <laughs> Just had my incredible facial and feeling great and glowy and now I'm gonna, I don't know, should I head to Popham's and get a chai? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Probably yes. Hell yeah. Well, that was simply lovely. I have to say, that was very, very nice. I wasn't getting much work done this morning. And you know when you're just like, nothing's happening for me. And having that facial has just supercharged me. I also got my chai latte. So that's also supercharging me a little bit. It's pouring rain, it's been raining for days. Effie was a little bit sick last night, don't know why. I think sometimes she just, when she has to like be out of her comfort zone for so long and like obviously it's so stressful for her, she just got a little bit of an upset tummy last night, but she's okay. We were talking about how life is like so full on during the week, um, especially like when you're running your own companies and businesses and things like that, but anyone can relate to this. like. It's just so much and we were talking about how on the weekends like the dream weekend is to stay at home and do nothing and just like be in your own space and watch like shitty TV and I was like I am a hundred percent the same. I'd love to know what you guys do like do you look forward to your weekends and like try to make the most out of your weekend and like have a jam-packed weekend social schedule or are you like me where you want to do nothing on the weekends? I think honestly my job is quite social so like by the end of the week my social battery which is already like never more than half full is like just by Friday night I'm done. And tomorrow's Friday night and I got no plans honey. Happy freaking Friday. <laughs> I'm at Lindsay's flat. <laughs> And I actually brought my sweet little baby girl. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I just brought her because I didn't want to leave her at home. But I'm here collecting my charger, which I forgot at the hair salon yesterday. And you kindly picked it up. I did. And I wanted to just see you anyway. Um, yeah. What's popping? Look at, look at this. Lindsay made me a cup of tea. And is this the Henry Holland Grind Collab? It is, yeah. It is that, yeah. Your flat is so gorgeous. I don't want to leave. She's I leaving. And look at your leave. surfboard up here. No. Effie, so cute. Effie, you're perfect. What if people are, don't know who you are? Lindsay Long Legs Holland, I've seen you described as. <laughs> you're the founder of Marnie Rays. I am. Which is the surf retreat I went on last summer. Yes. And absolutely loved it. And are there any slots left? Not for Portugal, but we've got some slots left in Cornwall in September. And we've got a few slots left in Bali in October. Yeah. Yeah. And seriously, that retreat saved my life. It changed my life, saved my life. If you want like a personal retreat, and you can go alone, you don't need a friend. Yep. You make friends there. Like I'm still friends with the girlies from that trip, which was so nice. So and go I, check yeah, it out. Everyone that's booked so far has booked to come on their own. Like yeah. there's nobody that's no nobody knows anybody, and it's yeah. really just because you just come away with friends. And I have never, in the time that I've known Este, seen Este so genuinely happy. And I'm not <laughs> even trying to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when I'm in social situations, I'm like, oh my god, when can I leave? But honestly, it was like three, four days of like genuine happiness. Yeah. Ah, well, that's Friday done. And it's around six o'clock. I'm gonna clean my kitchen, put my pajamas on, feed the dog, and we're going to chill out. Um, but thank you for coming along with me this week. And I will see you next week, I'm sure. By the way, I just let my hair air dry today and I actually think it's super cute, just like a little wave. Um, and I'm gonna spend the weekend by myself because like I said, my fiance is away this weekend, so I'm good. I'm all groovy. Gonna put on a little teen drama movie. <laughs> Hello. 
and just do some chilling and then on Sunday me and Effie will go for a nice long walk so that'll be fun anyway I will see you later bye